organizing and building power to affect change um, can be done by anybody. I've done a number of things in my life um, over the last 40 years, and all of them uh, committed to addressing fairness, equity, and helping people. You have a right to decent wages. Yeah. You have a right to good benefits. Yeah. I, I guess the thing that really made me a political person was becoming a single mother and realizing that my choices were limited by whether or not I had access to childcare. We were able to expand childcare. We now have a 10-year plan called a childcare growth strategy. The plan calls for 30,000 new spaces, lowering the fees for all families, making sure that early childhood educators and people who work in childcare can make decent wages. Uh, the new uh, Ford provincial government has already begun to attack child care and has introduced new uh, legislation that will expand unregulated, unsupervised child care and really put children at risk. And that is uh, moving us backwards in Ontario under the rubric of open for business. And child care is not a business. It is a human service. It is caring for our most vulnerable. I guess my priorities have been uh, to make sure that this city continues to provide accessible, affordable services, publicly delivered public services. When services are delivered by the city itself, we make sure that the people who are delivering them are paid well and have decent benefits and pensions. And we have uh, control over the quality of the service that we get. Uh, Taylor Creek, by 20, I hope 27, is going to be clean. This is a tributary of the Don River that is one of the dirtiest in the country. I moved systematically, kind of one report at a time until we finally got the budget for an outfall monitoring program. And we're now testing every pipe to find pollution that's going into the creek. We have something called the Wet Weather Flow Master Plan, which is going to build infrastructure to capture all of those overflows. But there are six watersheds in the city of Toronto that have the same issues of combined sewer overflows. And all of them need to be addressed. One of the things that has been a huge priority for me are tenant issues. Half the population of the city of Toronto lives in apartment buildings and are renters. We don't pay as much attention to tenants as we do to property owners. And as the downtown and inner suburbs become more and more expensive and people get pushed out, we are going to see even bigger divides in the city. And that as a city, we have an obligation to make sure we deliver good public services through, through good jobs. When I was packing up my office, report after report after report on poverty in this city and the growing inequality and the deepening isolation uh, of low-income families, families of color, racialized families that are living in segregated neighborhoods. I got into politics because I wanted to make change and to help people make the changes they saw and needed in their lives and in their communities. The municipal level of government is the most open and democratic type of government. You can come down to City Hall, bring your neighbors, and you tell those politicians what you think about things they're, they're deciding on, and you can make a difference. We are building a great city, and everyone who lives here can contribute to that.